started barbering, cutting my brother's hair in my bedroom and my cousins and stuff. I used to go down to a, my old barber and I used to love watching, getting my hair cut from him. How we got the name was, um, we used to have an old shop before with diligence, me and Pekka, and one of his clients said to us, you know, you lot are very diligent. So when we finished that shop, and we said, you know what, that's gonna be the name of our shop. I specialise in pattern work, but there's no market for it like before. I used to do like four, five every day. Now, if I'm be lucky, if I get four or five in six months, you know, there's no market for it no more. And the kids now, they don't really want it and adults don't have it no more. But if it comes, I love doing it. That's why I love doing the competition work. I'm trying to get myself back into that again. I started doing patterns, practicing with a razor blade. Then I went to work in a shop in Southall and then the gentleman that I was working for there, he was very good. But then when I started to work with Pekka, he was really, really good at patterns and he showed me a lot. I get a lot of inspiration from my designs from tattoo books and a lot of black and white drawings. I could copy them like my mind and use them with the, with the razor blade. I've done some pattern work that graffiti style. I, I suppose that it, everything goes in circles because like now the graffiti styles come back around anyway, you know? But yeah, I definitely do like doing graffiti-like patterns and stuff like that. London is a city, well, it's my city, innit? It? It's very inspiring, you know, it's gone, and it's the way how haircuts have changed from when I first started, it was predominantly black when I first started, and now it's changed, it's like 40% black, 40% Asian and 20% Caucasian. It's so diverse. 